Hi there, I'm Tom and welcome to A Noob Improves, quite possibly the most optimistically named series on YouTube. Today we are back playing Dota 2 with our A to Z challenge and we have Earthshaker. So I actually had a lot of fun playing Earthshaker. I um I got the win fairly early, I think like my second game, and then I just carried on playing him. Uh, partly because the next hero was Elder Titan, which I wasn't quite prepared for, and partly because he was just a really fun hero to play. So I'm starting off, um, bought wards and courier, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought the courier, I didn't see if I actually did, but I also have some tangos and some clarities, and I'm building up to a magic wand. So, heading down to bottom lane with Talvin, we also have, oh no, it looks like I'm heading to top lane. Okay, um, there is Jackal playing Enigma, uh, Randomer playing Tiny, because of course the Random is playing Tiny, and we also have Apathy playing Silencer, and me of course. So I'm just going to head down to the rune, stop, rune spot to try and ward it. Um, I'm hoping this ward here doesn't block the camp. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but uh, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see if it spawns in uh, when when the match starts. And now I'm just heading straight to lane, and basically my job here is going to be to harass them as much as possible, and use my um, use my abilities to make their life as hard as possible. And talking of which, my abilities are Fisher, which is the one everyone knows. It creates a Basically, a impos impassable wall, which uh, stuns and damages, and can be very useful for either preventing the enemy from escaping or from preventing them from chasing you. And right here, I'm hoping that, yeah, hopefully, yes, the tiny got away there. So, right there. The tiny was getting harassed, he would have died, so I laid down a fissure and um, I stunned them so that they couldn't chase him and they couldn't keep on hitting him and it gave him a chance to get away, which I'm, um, I'm very happy with overall. And now I'm just um, going to clean up some of these last hits, or at least attempt to because the tiny isn't doing it. I'm not doing it very well either, but there you go. Uh, second skill is Enchant Totem. It basically does bonus damage to my next attack. It's got a duration of 14, so you've got to apply it and then use it fairly quickly. Up to 400 damage, which 400% uh, damage, which is really good. The passive is my next one. It basically works in tandem with my other skills, causing additional damage um, when I cast anything, up to 125 extra damage. And there's Echo Slam, which basically... The more units there are on the screen, the more enemy units on the screen, the better this is. And it does up to 70 damage per echo I think and it's got um, uh, it's got 270 damage as base damage so yeah that's pretty good and now I have my stick I just need to move it into the right spot I'm standing a bit back because I'm I've got a, a clarity on and I don't want to break it. The I start off with about 250-ish uh, mana 
and an Echo Slam takes 125 at level 1, and now 140, so it's not going to last very long without some way of boosting it up. And um, looks like I'm going to try and upgrade the carrier for my next, uh, for the next item that I buy. Which should be fairly soon. Now, it's unfortunate that I'm laning with the randomer because there's not really, um, there's not really much communication going on. I could have got the Fisher down a lot sooner if I had known that he was going to initiate and we may have been able to get a kill there. But he seems like he's kind of squishy at the moment. So, unfortunately that didn't happen. I also, um, I would have been able to, uh, to use my, oh no I don't have Enchant Totem yet, but I would have been able to get into position quicker and start right clicking sooner. Bottom tower is under attack. And now I'm just scouting out because they're not in lane and I wanted to see where they were. And that's the slark, uh, not the slark, it is slarder. So he is still in lane and yep, yeah, there's the Abaddon, so pretty safe. Um, I am on Skype with the rest of the team at the moment, so because the Tiny's here and he can see everything I can see, I'm probably not going to um, be doing too much um, team chat inside the game, uh, because I just need to let the other guys know. And I was a bit too late, I was stunned there, so I didn't manage to get that off, but... It's okay, I stopped them chasing me effic efficiently, and I'm probably not going to go in for any of these last hits. If I had the mana, then I could have used a Fissure to trap them under tower. And I do have the mana now, but I've got to be careful that my clarity doesn't break. I do have a wand which I can use if absolutely necessary to get some health back, but I'm hoping to not have to use the charges like that. The tiny is coming back into lane. So I should be able to go heal or something if needed soon. And it looks like Silencer is coming in for a gank. And now is going to be the right time to... Yep, yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, I was right at the very edge of that, so I can't come in and hit them. But we did scare them back a bit, and that's going to help us in lane. Um, looks like the Slada got a rune. Uh, okay, Tiny got him. Not sure which rune he got, but it didn't do him much good. And I just broke my clarity. It's okay, I... Uh, I don't know, 50 mana down, so I shouldn't have... I should have been a bit more careful there. And again, there's someone on their team, AFK, and they didn't pull... Uh, they didn't... Um, disconnect which as I said last time if there is someone on your team you've got to make sure they disconnect if they go AFK um, or at least they say in all chat before um, before going AFK but either way um Looks like Slada is back in lane, and I think we are just going to push it out a bit. We've had a bit of free farm over the last few minutes, so 
hopefully Tiny is getting fairly strong. Um, he's almost level 6. And he's got Arcane Boots already, that's pretty good. And I think he's just harassing the Slada. Unfortunately the Slada's right back by the tower now, so there's not much we can do. But I can do that. And there we go, I just got a kill on him. And uh, there's we don't have the creep wave, unfortunately. We've got a couple of creeps there. But we did get the kill and we pushed the lane far enough that now I should be able to... Um... Okay, Slark's coming in for a gank, so... Uh, I don't have... Okay, now I've got mana. Not much mana, but I've got some, which means that we can possibly... Um, Enigma's here as well, so if we get him in an echo in a fissure, then oops, slightly too close to the tower there. Yeah, if Slardar comes forward a bit, then we can maybe make something happen. Uh, we just have to be careful. We um, we don't scare him off. There we go. And hopefully... No, it doesn't look like anything's going to happen here. If I had done that to the Slark, then maybe we would have gotten killed just off the Fissure. But... Ah well, it's all things that we... Um, that we can see in in oversight but yes uh, we did get a couple of kills off that so it was worth it overall and ooh no dead uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get a kill. Ah well. We... I think we gained a lot more from that fight than we lost. They've only got two kills so far, and we have seven. Uh, in fact, what... let's see... Um, so, the, the Slada has died three times in total. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Double damage. And now we have lots and lots of um, Enigma minions, or um, Eidolons I think they're called. So we can definitely push this tower now. I'm probably going to take some hits on that. Radiance All I need to do is yep, redirect it like that. And... no. Now's the time to be backing off. Okay, we've got the creep wave back there, so we should be able to protect the tower. We do have to be careful about ganks though, because that is always an opportunity here. And... yes. We got the tower and now we can back off quickly. Unfortunately I was stunned so I couldn't um, get the, the fissure into the right place. If I hang around slightly then I can possibly get another fissure. Um, no point now. But I, I didn't want to ditch the tiny and then he tries to initiate. Um, so instead I kind of hung around and looks like there we go. I need to, to run away now. I don't think I can take him myself. And the tiny isn't going to do anything. Uh, I did use my ultimate there though, and although it didn't do huge amounts of damage because there was um, there was only really one person in the area, it did scare him off enough 
to keep me alive. And we've got Silencer with us now. In fact, we've got Silencer and Enigma here, so we can, in fact, do that. And there we go. Nice, easy kill. I'm completely out of mana now. Uh, I don't even have enough for a TP. Well, okay, now I've now I do. Tiny he is being very generous with his arcane boots. Uh, this was actually um, the tiny we had was actually a really decent randomer, which isn't something I experience very often. Usually, the randomers we get, especially if it's um, a single randomer, they're just they do what they want and they don't play. Um, they don't play nice with others, basically. That was unfortunate. I've got to run now. I, I'm hoping that the tiny's going to be okay. I'm going to come up from the other side and possibly... Oh, I need to turn around because there is lots of people there. I don't have enough mana to do anything though. I can do one Echo Slam and that's it. Okay, luckily no one died from that. But I, I need to get some mana items once I finish my Blink Dagger. Blink Dagger is very good on... Um, on Earthshaker because you can blink in and then do a fissure and that's the initiation of course and after that uh, you can ultimate so if you catch five people in your fissure then um, your ultimate does a fair bit of damage especially if there's enemy creeps nearby that's the theory anyway I'm not sure how well exactly I um, I execute it this game. Okay, so we are getting ready to set up some ganks. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not close enough to the tiny to um, do anything like that. Uh, not the tiny, the viper, sorry. And yes, there we go. Um, I just about managed to get him with the Fisher. I'm pretty sure that no one else was really in range to to hurt him, and so I got the kill, even though he was only on a tiny bit of life. And another TP scroll. I okay. Yeah, I've got two TP scrolls, but I did just use one, so I am doing better about not carrying too many of them. And now we just need to protect mid tower and probably set up a kill. Uh, definitely got to help the Sony out. Uh, and that was definitely a stolen kill. <laughs> there wasn't any need for me to do that, but with our shaker, I tend to just um, I tend to play on the safe side. If there's a kill that my fisher could help to get, I will use the fisher. Um, and if I steal the old kill here and then, well, it just helps me get my items a bit quicker. Uh, I am heading down to the bottom lane. Okay, I'm heading here. I do not have enough mana for anything, so... I can hit people. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm running away from the fight. I got scared of the the viper, and I could have at least punched him a couple of times. Unfortunately, we lost three people there. Uh, if I'd had more mana, I definitely would have gone in, and I would have gotten all three of them with a fissure, but. That's the way it goes sometimes. Once I get my Blink Dagger, I think my next item will be Arcane Boots. 
so that will help me a lot with my mana problems. And I'll be teleporting down to bottom lane as soon as I get my mana back. Oh, mid. Uh, looks like I'm going to go mid instead. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I really should be teleporting here. There's a kill that is just going to be so easy to get if we manage to fish of him. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower. Uh, I could also teleport to bottom na bottom lane now because they're all grouped up there and we could get a kill. Instead I choose to go to top to protect the tower there and kind of waste my mana. Right now I can get a fissure or I can get... Um, I can do one fissure or I can do one ultimate, that's it. And I don't even have any charges in my wand. If I get a couple of hundred gold here, which I'm not going to get because I'm missing every single last hit, um, then I'll have completed my blink dagger and I can be a bit more useful in these fights. And... Yeah, I'm. I shouldn't be worrying about last hits now. I should just be hitting them. But I really, really want that blink dagger. Uh, One hundred gold left. Uh, okay, I need to be going to bottom lane. Ah, uh, unfortunately, I was slightly too slow, and I missed the fissure. No, no way we can get him now. And I'm out of mana again. Um, but by the time I walk up to the secret shop, I will be able to afford my blink dagger. So, um, yeah, that does just do the blink. I was kind of hoping it may give me some mana, but that was a... Um, I didn't hold up much hope for that. That was kind of a vain thing. So, next item is indeed going to be arcane boots. I need another 1000 gold for that. I also need a whole lot of mana. As in, right now I need mana, so I should probably head back home to heal. It looks like there's the middle lane fairly under control. And I'm not going to be all that much use in a team fight if I can't even do my Fisher or my Ultimate. Yep, so that's where I'm going. I will be able to afford a TP scroll, so if I'm needed urgently, I will be able to jump back in. But unfortunately, it's slightly too late for that. Uh, I have my TP scroll now, and I'm just going to TP in and see if I can actually help anyone here. There we go, I got the fissure on, if I get my ultimate, there we go. I think everyone was slightly too far out of range, and I'm just going to die now. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, and looks like everyone else is going to die as well. Oh, uh, Enigma got away. Yeah. Not a whole lot I could do there. We did get one kill, um, thanks to my Fisher and my Ultimate, but there, because the Silencer was dead and the tiny was dead at the same time um we were kind of limited in that team fight anyway i am back up now i can get the tp scroll in fact i'm going to get 
two because I'm going to use one straight away. And I'm at zero gold, which means that my my arcane boots are even farther away now than they was a few seconds ago. Ah, thank you very much, Tiny. I really appreciate that. Okay, so it looks like we're going to head to top lane and push that out a bit. And if we find anyone in our jungle, we can take them out. I don't think anyone is actually going to be in our jungle, though. There's three of them on the map, and uh, four of them on the map, so it's only the Slark who would be... Nope, the Slark's on the map as well, so definitely not anyone in our jungle. There we go. Nice easy kill on the Sladar there. Unfortunately, we lost uh, the Enigma and the bottom tower. So, uh, they are probably going to be a bit cautious here. Um, I need to be careful of my positioning so I don't get jumped on. And if I'm considering using my Fisher to clear this creep wave, I really shouldn't do that. So, um, yeah, we can push this lane out a bit. There is still someone... There's the Slark down there. I went the wrong way. We didn't know exactly which way he duked. There he is, but I don't have the silence to help me out. We've got to be a bit careful. Um, Enigma's coming down, so we can probably get a kill if we get enough stuns there. Um, I may be able to bait him slightly, or I may just... Um, Scare him off. There we go. A nice fissure there. If he reappears, I can ult him. Ooh. No, I can't. Uh, my positioning's really wrong there, but we got the kill anyway. I need to. I need to get my positioning right, and I need to just be a bit. Um, a bit less cautious, I need to walk in and punch people a lot more. And that's that's pretty much the only real mistakes um, that I'm making that I can see is that I'm just I'm over cautious and I'm not punching people enough. Okay, so they're all here, and we're all here, so if I get the blink in... Um, there we go, I got the ult. I don't think it did much, but we got a couple of kills from it. And if I use my wand now, I can fish her again. Yes. Unfortunately, Abaddon used his ult, or um, his ult activated, so there's not much I can do, and my fish is just completely blocking me in. If I... Oh. No, I missed him. I need to use my blimp dagger a lot more, especially to... Um, to jump over my fissure. That's... I don't think I use that all that much this game, but it is something I can do. If I fisher someone, then I can jump onto the other side of my fisher and um, keep attacking them. But I have my arcane boots at pretty much 30 minutes in. And I, yeah, I already used them, that's good. So... We've got quite a few towers, um, all the tier 1 towers, and they've got two of ours. And there is a regeneration rune. Unfortunately, I didn't see it, so I'm not going to get the benefit of it. But um, Trying to decide what my next item should be. Uh, I 
Okay. I'm not sure what the... Um, oh, hang on. I can see it in the item guide, but I can't see it. Like, I can't open the shop myself, so... I'm not quite sure what the Aghanim Scepter does on the R Shaker. But it will give me lots of health, so that's good. And I'm just, um... I used my Fisher there because I wasn't really, like, there was a big creep wave and I wasn't really high enough health to take them all on. So, um... I just stunned them and did some damage to them so I could handle them a lot easier. Unfortunately, I'm still not getting very many last hits. Ah, there's one. I think this is 1100, uh, 1200 it is. And I... Okay, I was going to say I shouldn't hang around in that lane too long. It looks like I went to an even worse lane and I just miss a team fight happening on the map. Ooh, no. I got silenced. Ah, that's a real shame there. So um that was a misplay by me because I didn't get to the team fight quickly enough I start I would continue clearing the lane and that meant that when I did get there I was unsupported and I died and fed them a kill ah that's a shame if there hadn't been an abandon there with a mech that would have been a definite kill So let's have a look at that items quickly. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing with the point booster. Maybe just um, maybe just boosting his health, or maybe he's got another item. Uh, he literally just has armlet and boots. It's interesting. And the necrophose has Dagon. And okay, so not many items there, but I'm sure it makes sense to someone else. Alright, we need to start pushing towers uh, because otherwise they're just going to get too much of an advantage, and I need to start blinking more. And I think I just wasted my out there. And I'm just about going to get away. I didn't really do much in that team fight. I got scared and ran off. And when I run off, I run too far. Um, I run too far back. Instead of just getting out of their range, I will... Um, I'll run way back, and that leaves my team kind of undefended. Okay, so I'm just very weakly hitting the um, the creep with that. I am so dead, and I can blink away. Uh, looks like I don't need to. I'm kind of hanging around to see if they need my fissure. I should have been a bit farther up if I wanted to do that, really. Um, oh, I just decided to get out. If I'd hung around, I could have gotten a fissure in because the range is fairly long. Um, it's 1400 the range, which is farther than a blink dagger, which is 1200 range. So I could have very easily stood right on the edge where no one could target me and then um, fissured and helped out and prevented um, at least one death. I do 
Hang on. I'm pretty sure if I sent the um I'm pretty sure that I sent the carrier to get an item for me and then it just returned. But that may have been someone else getting an item. It doesn't really matter, I can head to the secret shop quickly enough. Uh, looks like they are all doing Roshan, so I will have to be very quick about this. And, ah, he has his ultimate up. There we go. If, oh no, I've used my ult already. Um, I need to start hitting him, like really. There we go. I don't have a huge amount of damage, but everything helps. Especially if I use my Echo Slam a lot more. I do not use that gnarly enough. And... There we go. That was easy enough for us to clear off once we had won the team fight. But now we need to... Looks like we may need to protect top lane. Uh, yeah, mid lane. If we push up mid lane and then we just head to top, we can probably get a kill. Although it does look like they're going to bottom lane, but we've got no real way of um, knowing that right now. I've got a lot more mana now. I've got um, a thousand mana, so I can easily do a cup two or three um, Fisher ult combos. Not that it matters that much because my ult is like a 60 second cooldown, um, 110 second cooldown now. No, completely missed that. And I'm possibly going to have to run. I'm hoping that we're not going to get chased down, although if they are I can just turn around and Fisher and keep walking away. But when doing that I've got to be careful that I don't trap my teammates in the wrong place. So uh, we do have their tier 2 tower, so it's, it's actually dead even on on towers at the moment. And we've got a slight kill advantage. Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing now. We are kind of just scouting them out to see whereabouts they are. And looks like we found them. If we're quick, we can hopefully kill them. Uh, as long as they show in lane. Uh, there we go, there's one. And disappeared again. We... We are of course being very careful because otherwise that happens. And I have my ult off cooldown now. And... Uh, I don't think this is going to go well for me. Uh, yeah, it didn't go well for me. It didn't go well for any of us. The Tiny may be able to get a couple of kills here. Uh, no. Uh, that is really disappointing. I don't think that was a smart idea, Tiny. You almost got one of them, I will give you that, but... Oh dear. Uh, we are still winning on kills, but it is much closer now. And they are going to push at least two lanes while we're dead, and they will probably push them quite far. I expect we will be will we uh there I can't speak. I expect we will be pushing mid lane uh, or defending mid lane once we get back alive. And 
Looks like I'm intending to teleport bottom, I guess. I'm still dead for 20 seconds, but... Oh yes, because Necrophos got me, I think. Uh, when I am up, I can teleport to bottom tower. Although, that's probably going to be slightly too late to make a difference. There we go, everyone else is backing off, and it looks like they backed off as well. All we can do now is clear the creep waves. And that is something I can't particularly help with. I still need 3000 gold to complete my Aghanim Scepter, and I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon unless we win a lot of team fights. I am doing okay. I've got 13 assists and only 4 deaths, so it's not terrible. And, um, looks like I just decided to do some warding because they are pushing aggressively now and we need to know when they're pushing aggressively. And just that. Oops. Fisher, please. I'm silenced, I can't do anything. Uh, looks like Tiny got it, and there's a good Fisher. And, yeah, I think I got a kill there. Possibly. And, yeah, I don't think this is going to go well for us again. I did get a ward done there, so if that happens again, we will... Um, definitely see it coming. And... 3 for 3. I uh, would have preferred it if we got the Viper and the Abaddon as well, but you can't have everything. At least I'm just a support, so... It's not a huge detriment to us. And looks like I managed to buy out before I died. Which is a bonus. I don't usually remember to do that. And. Yeah, like I said, defending mid. Oh, and Necrophos got me again. He seems to. I can kind of see why they would target me. Uh, because I, I'm the one with the stun. But. I I do really dislike Necrophos's ult. It wouldn't be so bad if the cooldown wasn't so big. Uh, the cooldown on the death respawn. Okay, so... They are pushing bottom and possibly top? I don't know. All I know is that... I've only just come back to life. And now I don't quite know where we're going. Uh, there's so many good options. We can go top, we can go mid, and we can go bottom. Death awaits at every corner. Right, so... Looks like we are scouting the jungle for potential kills. We did see um we did see someone with the observer wards. I could buy more wa more wards that would benefit us greatly. And I am scouting out here. I can blink and get him, but I don't think that will actually do anything. I did it anyway, but, you know. Ah, well, we scared him off. And at least I didn't waste my ult on it. So, I expect Roshan will be up fairly soon. If we can get the whole team in one place, we can possibly do that. And there's no point in me being up here. The Eidolons do more damage than I do. And I don't want to push down the lane too much because it is rather dangerous. But as long as Windranger's there, 
um, we should be fairly safe. And uh, looks like Roshan isn't up yet. Now, I only see three of them, or I did see three of them, uh, which kind of gets me worried as to where the others are. We know they're not doing Roche because Roche wasn't up. And can I get a Fisher? Yes, I can. And just um, got the kill. See, this is what happens when you actually right click people. Even though I don't have much damage, I can still contribute. And I am using my Blink Dagger a lot more, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like they just appeared on my map. There's three of them, one's dead. So. Ah, they're, yep, they are all in their jungle. Which makes this a good time to. um. to push. Although, of course, we don't know where they are, we just um, know that they're not on our map. And they are defending their middle tower. It's good that we're pushing into their territory and being less on the defence. I I don't really like being on the defence like that. Okay, so... Uh, looks like whoever was here, possibly the Slark, um, just teleported out. Must have seen us coming. And yeah, it's at this stage of the game that we start to get a bit indecisive. Like there's lots of things we can do and we can't decide exactly what. It looks like we are going to try Roche and hopefully they don't have any Observer Wards. I'm just going to tank a lot of damage. I could be using the enchant totem uh, uh, hang on, which one's? that's aftershock, that's enchant, that's fisher, that's echo slam, so yeah I could be using enchant totem, I'm not doing that very much this game and I really need to be doing it a lot more and that could have helped a lot in Roche because what's the cooldown on that? It's, it's only a 5 second cooldown it does have a very long animation though, and that's kind of why I'm hesitant to use it right now. Because basically I don't want to be in a fight and have to sit through the animation while I'm getting hit and then just do a bit more extra damage. So, um, they do actually have a disconnect on their team. They if they pause now, we'll probably wait for them. Um, but it looks like they're not pausing. And we're not going to pause for them. That's... Um, uh, they, did dis they did reconnect quickly enough, so that's okay. But yeah, like I said, we're not an unreasonable team, but we're not going to give you an advantage unless you ask for it and unless it's reasonable. And I could ult someone like that. It's not going to do a huge amount of damage because there's not many people here, but it's going to get me an assist. And I'm going to try and run away now. Didn't quite work. And a Baden's ultimate. I don't know if we're going to get any more kills. No. Oh dear. We... I'm going to say we lost that fight pretty badly. And I lost a ton of gold because they didn't buy out. We did, however, make some progress on the tower, I hope. Um, let's just go quickly. Yeah, we got it down to about half health. Um, let's have a look at items. 
Relic, lots of damage. Oh dear. And a bloodstone. Uh, blink dagger and BKB. Uh, Dagon and Ags. And Viva. Uh, okay. I don't think I got hit by the Necrophos ult this time, so I didn't take forever to respawn. Respawn, not respawn. I seriously cannot speak today. I need a glass of water, I think. Okay, so... It doesn't actually look like this game is going to end anytime soon. Uh, I didn't even check how long it was uh, before I started recording. It is... 52 minutes. Okay, so... I guess it is going to end soon. Let's see how that happens. We don't even have any of their tier 3 towers yet, so it's going to be a very, very quick end. Right. I'm kind of standing a bit back, trying not to get hurt. And that was kind of a bad idea. I hope my Fisher comes off cooldown fairly quickly because then I can actually do something. I've got my Blink so I can Blink Fisher. Uh, don't need to. And Fisher there. Yes. We manage. We are managing to melt all of them now. And just the Abaddon left. I still have my wand. That's interesting. I guess I haven't had any real need to get rid of it yet, but. Okay, I still have my ult. Uh, it's not going to be any use because there's only an Abaddon left, but... Wow, I guess some of our team bought damage items. We seem to be doing a lot more damage than we were. And, yeah, I guess that is how... Um, that's how we end the game quickly, I guess. And I think a Fisher would be good on this group of creeps. There we go. Some nice gold there. And I can get, if I'm um, brave enough, I can go past the Abaddon and get my... Um, get my Agnum Scepter. Oh, this is going to be a bad idea. Buy out, buy out. Yes. I'm happy. The game can end now. I got my Scepter. <laughs> And Abaddon finally died. How many deaths does he have? Only five deaths. And that's GG. So, I kind of fared a life at the end there, but it was totally worth it, I think. Because I got my Agonim Scepter, which I never got to use. In fact, what I should have done is just got it and altered him. And I may have gotten a kill. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, don't feed the trolls.